as soon as he hit me, I was like, fuck. I smiled and I was on my way down. Like, you can't really, you can't control that at that point. But I smiled and I was like, fuck. He thought I was more hurt than I was actually. And he postured up the strike and I just threw the arm bar up. Can't really work better than that now, can it? Uh, no, it could have worked better than that. I'd drop him then submit him, that would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he got overconfident and that's kind of what uh, played into that? Yeah, and, and, and nobody really knows about my ground game, so I didn't really show it at all in any, any of my UFC fights, especially my guard. But um, if you go back and you do your homework, you look at my amateur fights, I used to jump guard in some of my fights. And, yeah, so I, I think I'm a pretty well-rounded fighter. On top and on bottom, standing, on cage, I think I'm pretty good everywhere else. Well, the secret's out now, I guess, right? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. The arm bar, it's the thing you like or it was just available? It's something that when somebody postures up getting ready to strike, I, which I knew he was going to do because he just dropped, dropped me, right? So I knew he was getting ready to posture to strike. I was like, all right, I'm either going to put my feet in the sits, explode up, or he's going to go to strike and I'm going to throw the arm bar up. If I get it, great. If I don't, I'm going to be able to scramble and get back up. So it's, that's, 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 that's what I do usually. So, so, that, right? After such a long break, what do you feel now? Do you want a quick turnaround? Uh, honestly, yeah, two minutes and 11 seconds, I, like, I was hyped after the win, but you kind of feel that, like, I want more. Honestly, I'm still hungry. I want, I want more. I'm happy I get the, the finish. I'm happy I won quit, but uh, honestly, I wish it was a little bit later. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I wanted, I, it's been nine months. I wanted to show off more. I wanted to fight more. I wanted more time to beat. Well, you hear some guys being like, we don't get paid by the minute. No, I, I've been so. saying that since, since being in my career. But the fact that I got dropped changed my mind on that. I'm pissed that I got dropped, honestly. So I wish I dropped him. Do UFC ever call you to fill in on late notice before? No. Do you hope they do? Um, we're not, me and my team, we're not really known for late notice kind of fights like that. We like to prepare and really prepare for, for our fights. So I don't know about late notice fight. I'm kind of a big featherweight, too, so. <laughs> Anyone in the division that you want in a fight? No, nah, man, I don't care. But I heard they're going to Brooklyn in, in January. Maybe that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Four of your first five fights in the UFC have been in New York. So getting that Brooklyn fight, is it just something that you just like fighting in New York or it just kind of works out It's convenient, way? man. I live an hour away. Actually, Halloween was on Wednesday. I went home and trick or treat with my daughter. Came back here and got a workout in and did the rest of the fight week. So it's, it's, it's hella convenient. I haven't flown, taken a flight to any of my fights. My other fight outside of New York was in Boston. Three hour drive from my house. Drove up there real quick. So it's, it's nice. Um, but I wouldn't mind taking a flight out somewhere else. Do you have anywhere particularly you want to go fight? Vegas, honestly. Who doesn't want to fight in Vegas, right? Was it hard not eating any candy on Wednesday? It was brutal. My daughter <laughs> can't even eat the candy, so I had to just get it and just leave it there. And I, I, I Why can't, can't you eat it? She's only one and a half years old, man. <laughs> well, I didn't know. <laughs> so was it like waiting for you now? When, when oh, yeah, man. So I know that. I got, I got a bunch of little cousins, and they, they, they know. When they, when they go trick-or-treat, and all the Reese's go to me. So, got those waiting at home, too. I'm a foodie, man. I love, love, love food. Love food. I was at Texas, actually, not that long ago. And I went to your gym. You weren't there. But up the barbecue there, man. F fighting and food. Those are my and family. Fighting food family. Three Fs. <laughs> so what you're saying, Shane, is that lightweight is in your future at some point? It might be, honestly. I'm getting a little older. Weight's getting a little harder. Weight's getting a little harder. We'll see. You guys are getting excited about... Uh... So do, you, so do you have a list of, of, your, of your candy you're going to eat when you, when you get back? Reese's Not a list, one. I just got the bucket sitting in there, yeah. Reese's and M&M's. I've been trying to get the M&M's sponsorship, but it's taking a while. Where, where do you actually live? Do you live in New York or do you live Yeah, Monroe. You probably, you live in New York, right? I did. You yeah. know Woodbury Commons? Of course. That's my town right there. I live right there. Yep. Near the Alice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's where I live. I, I used to work there. It's terrible. Which store? Uh, Puma and J. Crew. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Especially on Black Friday. Em so. Employee discount though, right? Yeah, but Black Friday just made it. <laughs> it's terrible. Don't worry. It's, be it's better getting punched in the face for a living than... Uh, yeah, make a hell of a lot of money. So, <laughs> I'm cool with that. Anything else, guys? <laughs>